is standing by and he has uh, the day in Commonwealth news. Good morning, Tomas. Good morning, Jay's Chris and Joe, sir. Just wanted to provide some updates from Saipan uh, this morning. Uh, as we reported yesterday and last night, uh, the CNMI continues to offer COVID-19 antigen testing. Uh, if you missed yesterday, uh, about 700 people showed up yesterday, by the way, for, for that testing. Uh, but if you missed yesterday, uh, you can still avail of the antigen testing on Wednesday and Saturday at the Kagman Fire Station, Garapan Fire Station, and Susupi Fire Station. Uh, again, that's Wednesdays and Saturday this week, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, they described that uh, this test will take about 15 to 30 minutes uh, when you are swabbed by part of the uh, fire uh, department staff, you'll be brought uh, asked to drive to a parking lot where you will wait for your results. Uh, if you're negative, you're free to go. If you're positive, they ask that you go home and wait for contact tracers to call you. Uh, yesterday, uh, the Department of uh, Fire uh, PIO uh, Rob Mojica was telling us uh, that yesterday's testing uh, actually did identify a few positive cases. Uh, as of uh, this morning, we have yet to receive any report from over the weekend or yesterday's testing, but we're expected to uh, receive the latest data uh, sometime tonight. And uh, just wanted to provide an update with regards to the vaccination effort here in the CNMI. 91.3% uh, of the population has now been vaccinated. That's about 38,000 people. 11,217 people have uh, received an additional dose. And uh, overnight, the Supreme Court orders the temporary closure of the Guma Justitia here on Saipan. Uh, according to their press release uh, on Monday, December 13, uh, they ordered the temporary closure of the Guma Justitia in response to the recent surge in confirmed positive COVID-19 cases in the CNMI. Uh, the temporary closure is from Tuesday, December 14 through Friday, December 17. They write that bail, initial appearance, arraignment, family protection, emergency and time sensitive hearings may be set through video conferencing and teleconferencing. Uh, the, digi the judiciary staff will be uh, teleworking through the temporary closure. Uh, they note that the court on Tinian and Rhoda will remain open for limited purposes. Uh, consistent with their order as well. And uh, this morning at 10.30, we're expected to hear the latest from the House Committee investigating the governor. Uh, as we reported over the weekend, the NMI House Committee rejected Governor Torres's uh, proposal uh, in terms of uh, having a written response or meeting uh, with just Chair Babata, uh, not under oath, uh, but proposed that it be publicly broadcasted. Uh, you can read the full story on our website. Uh, today at 10.30, uh, the committee will reconvene. Uh, they say that if Governor Torres shows up at 10.30, they agree not to pursue a contempt charge for his no-show last week. Uh, it's yet to be seen if he'll appear. As you know, he's taken to Facebook to release a series of videos to address some of the allegations. Um, in a letter to the committee last week, the governor's attorney says uh, the proposal from Governor Torres was to voluntarily meet with Babata only and not under oath with the option for the House Speaker to facilitate. Uh, he outlined other requirements, including that the meeting would be broadcast to the public and the subpoena would be withdrawn. So that was the proposal that was rejected. And uh, the committee is convening at 1030 and uh, it, it may be likely that they will pursue a contempt charge uh, against uh, Governor Torres. Uh, Chris and uh, Jason. So that's some of the latest news coming out of the CNMA this morning. Uh, thank you, Tomas. Any uh, word on preparations at all, uh, anticipation of the Omicron uh, variant? Uh, not at this moment, uh, but we do know that uh, it's something that they're they're looking at. Uh, the samples take a while to uh, get back to us, just like Guam. I, I will uh, be checking in with public health to be asking if CNMI samples were sent along with the with, with those Guam samples as well. Um, but uh, ultimately, uh, some of the restriction the restrictions that uh, Governor Torres put in place with regards to mask wearing uh, and uh, closure of non-essential government offices, that expires in a few days. And uh, it's unclear if the restrictions will be renewed or changed uh, for the holiday season. All right, Tomas, uh, thank you very much. Thanks, guys.
All right, thanks so much, Tomas. Back to you, Jason Solis, with our 8 o'clock newscast brought to you by Pacific Points. And as Tomas was alluding to, uh, the NMI continues to ramp up testing, as he was saying, with with rapid antigen tests, as Saipan currently has 25,000 of such tests in stock, offering free drive through testing this week as the first surge continues. We are expanding antigen testing to be available at the Gaupan, Susupi, and Patman fire stations. The NMI is ramping up its COVID response with rapid antigen testing. We have to start considering and really moving towards living COVID safe. Saipan currently has 25,000 antigen tests in stock, offering free drive through testing this week amid its first surge. The last time massive testing was available was last year. It doesn't hurt to get tested. It's, it's better to be safe. It's better to know what's going on. And, you know, I think everyone should get tested just so that in the results, I mean, yes, it's a scary idea thinking you're positive, but it's better to know than just we keep thinking. Residents will receive results in 15 to 30 minutes. If you're positive, you'll be asked to go home and wait for contact tracers to call you. They've already found new COVID cases this morning. Over the weekend, new data from the case reports show a single day record of 174 cases on December 8, 86 on December 9, 86 on December 10, and 48 were identified on December 11. You know, it's exhausting, but, you know, we're trying to keep this under control and trying to make sure it's contained and trying to keep the people at the CMI safe. And uh, what's your message to those? Back here on Guam, the Guam Power Authority is reminding